So here we go. It's kind of been a, a big day that's been approaching here. We've been very anxious. We're going to go ahead and flip the boat over today. Kind of gave a little preview of that on the last video. If you didn't you didn't see the last video, we kind of uh, put all the partition, all the ports and all the holes and all in the transom, the through hauls, the garbage drain plug and all that. So check that out. Here it is. I'm just holding it on the front with that engine hoist and on the stern there I just had a little uh, you know, automotive, automotive jack. So these ropes here that I'm putting together, they'll actually go up underneath the hull and back and, and they'll go to the front of my truck so that whenever I start rolling it over, the hull won't slide, like it won't slide away from my truck there as a reference. So now that I have those ropes in there and you see I've got those other little boards up underneath my rolling cradle there, that'll just keep all the pressure uh, on those uh, on those little uh, stands that I have there and it won't, like it won't be laying on the hull side. So what I'm going to do here is I'm these two ropes here that I'm putting closest to us, they'll actually go to the in, to that engine hoist. So you'll see as it rolls over, those ropes will actually catch the boat and I'll lower it to the ground with that hoist. Okay, so hopefully now you'll see when the boat rolls this way, those ropes there will actually catch it and I'll be able, I'm gonna lift that, lift that hoist up in the air. Um, so now I'm just putting some clamps right here around those ropes on the outside of each one of those transverse bulkheads so that it doesn't slide, doesn't pull the screws or anything on those little rolling crate rolling stands that I have on it there. Um, now the ropes I'm putting on now, that's what I'm actually hooked to my four-wheeler winch with and that's what will actually pull the boat and make it roll over. One thing to keep in mind is you see that little, those little stands in that cradle that I have. You see those 45s that I have cut? I tried to make this thing and partition it so that it would actually, you know, once we get the boat vertical and then when it started rolling, it would have a place in between there so that it couldn't gather too much momentum. And hopefully I'd be able to control the roll as I was doing this by myself. So kind of here we go. I'm lifting that winch up here. You got a little better, better picture of it. You'll see what's going to happen here. And then you can see the four-wheeler winch. That's what I've got uh, touching right there. And uh, here it is. We just kind of activate the winch a little bit and it just, it rolls over nice and pretty. And all I had to do is I kind of had to do a little bit of resettling here, but um, like I said, putting those, there's my little neighbor, a little girl. She's like, what in the world are you doing? So you can see how the hull doesn't, there was no pressure on the side of that shear shear clamp and all that so it, it really just went just totally uneventful which is what I was shooting for. I had to make a little adjustment right here because I'm just trying to keep that hook and chain off the side of the boat. That's all I'm doing here. So once I get everything situated right here I just kind of want a little more space with the gate and all you'll see right there so that I could get that uh, that hoist out of there and it just it set right down on like it should and I just took all my ropes loose and now I'm gonna come around here with that uh, hoist and I'm gonna actually put some clamps on that front what I'm trying to do right here is I'm, I'm gonna pick it up because right now it's just sitting on the little rolling stand that I installed on those bulkheads I'm gonna pick it up put it back on the rolling cradle like the cradle with the wheels on it so that I can kind of move it around here and I'm going to be picking it up in the front and I'll put a little uh, bottle jack under the front to hold the front up and then I'm going to bring this hoist around here to the start, to the transom again and pick up the transom and you'll see uh, here it is I'm bringing, bringing the little rolling cradle in there. I guess I kind of call them both the same thing. Um, but that's all I'm doing is I'm going to bring this little, bot, this little uh, floor jack, um, put it up underneath the front where I can uh, in, the, in the, a hole in that rolling cradle and then move this hoist around to the transom and be able to pick it up and, and, and get it where I can roll it and turn it. I had originally planned to get a little mini edge and it was just honestly it just was too much money. It was gonna be like 250 bucks to rent the thing and by the time I picked it up, you know, I had to deal with all that trailers and whatnot 
I just kind of I went I thought through it even more and you know this this uh, this whole shit right you know as it sits right now I'm gonna guess it's six eight hundred pounds maybe maybe if that much uh, you know it's not overly heavy um, you know I can grab one each end and kind of pick it up and make it move you know if I had to shift it or something so that engine hoist is plenty of plenty of tool for the job and so that's what I did I'm happy that I didn't do that. This this little hoist here, you know, it just hooks to, you know, it's actually trailerable itself. Hooks to the ball of your truck and you just, you know, you drag it behind the truck on those bigger wheels that it has right there. It, uh, it was actually pretty handy. All in all, it cost me about $60 to rent it for, I got it on a Saturday right before they closed so I didn't have to return it till Monday morning. So it worked out really well. Now you can see, like I just spun it around and I cut out a bunch of it, but I did a lot of setting and looking. You know, it's the first time I'd seen the bottom of the boat since you know the since I put it all together and glued it and did all that. And I had some things that I fought, but, but all in all, you know, I couldn't be couldn't be happier with how it's turned out. You know, I like the hole. The hole's got a nice shape. You can see there, it's got plenty of forward V. I think for what I'm going to be doing. And uh, I'm just anxious to finish it and uh, see what happens. And here's my neighbor. He's he's been over a few times. If you've been following me, you've seen him. And uh, he's he's such a, a big supporter of the deal, and it's so interesting to talk to it, just talk through it with him. But I'm gonna be moving on here. I'm gonna, now I'm gonna hook up to the boat again with the with the hoist, and I'm actually be taking those stands out that it's and, and setting it down. I mean I. It's just too high right here for me to be able to work on it. Um, I'd have to, I, to to sand anything towards the keel. I'd have to be on a ladder or a stool or something, and that's just not practical. I'd rather have it lower and have to bend down to do the sides, or I can always go in and, and jack up that cradle and maybe get me a, you know that rolling cradle at the bottom and put me some some two by fours or something to stand it up a couple of feet if I need to. So I just, you know, I'm just taking a two before here, and I'm gonna center it with a little strong back, and and uh, and uh, attach that to that little rolling cradle, um, and then I'm just eventually gonna just set the boat down. I'll probably let this run for a little while, but it, I mean that's what's gonna happen. So I'm gonna set it down, and if you hang with me here, I'm gonna do a little walkthrough with the boat here pretty soon to kind of talk through some things and things that I know I still have to deal with that are kind of a product of of how I put it together and things I didn't didn't do very well. Um, but all in all, like I said, I, I couldn't be more pleased with the way things turned out. And if you hadn't done it, you know, subscribe. I'm trying to grow this thing, and you know, um, I, I watched a lot of videos of people building boats, and it kind of inspired me to, to, to try and take it on. I've always wanted to build my own boat. It's just kind of something's been in me. Um, so you know, if anybody's thinking about that, I, I'm going to be giving away some plans. Um, once again, this is a Salt Boat Works haul. You can look them up online. I'm going to actually be giving away a set of his plans. You know, he's not, they're not giving them to me. I'm going to pay for them out of my pocket. Just hopefully somebody else like me that that maybe didn't, you know, that may, may take the chance and do it themselves like I did. And it's been just crazy rewarding, um, this project. It's, you know, it's got, it's got its own little difficulties, but, you know, I've learned a lot and I'm, I'm a lot better. You know, if I have to do this again, I, I, it'd take me half the time to get to where I'm at, but. You can see there, that's just the structure of that little stand that I used to roll it, and I just screwed that to that transverse bulkheads on the forward and stern and, and, and aft. And it just worked out really, really well. So all I'm doing now is I'm just kind of situating things. You can see I got this board coming through here. It's actually going to sit right there, and I'll show you a little bit of that uh, as well. We're just about to do a little walk through here in a second. But uh, once again, check it out, subscribe to us. Um, Help us get there. You know, as soon as I get to a thousand subscribers, I've been doing this for about five months, and the channel's growing, and I have no complaints. I'm so very thankful for for uh, the people who who've been engaged. And you know, if you got questions or something, if I'm or if you see me screwing up for sure, be sure to uh, let me know. You know, if you give me some feedback or whatever, I, I, I'm you know, that kind of helps motivate me to do this. Uh, and document it because this this video and this editing and all this stuff it does it takes a lot of time and it takes a lot of time away from my other aspects of my life but all right right here you can see i tried to put those little blocks there on the outside because i didn't want the boat rolling off the cradle but uh what i realized was is when i go to fiberglass the side the, that board right there is going to be just right in the way so what i wound up doing is i wound up putting them on the inside um 
and eventually I'll fix that. I'll put them up on the inside where I can go ahead and fiberglass the side of the boat. So uh, you'll see me make that change here shortly as well. she is. Finally got it all flipped over. It's got some got some things going on here but you can see one of the things I was worried about when I started was I had this gap down there down the keel which all that's gonna be fine. It's going it's just all stuffed in here. I'll take and grind all this blue tape and all that stuff out. I'll just fill that with epoxy. But by and large it all looks pretty good. I'll give you a little walk around. Um, got a little, little stuff going on with the chines on it. There's a little bit of a hump about right here. Um, but all that's gonna, uh, probably try and fair all that out maybe before I even glass it, but it all works out pretty good. And I want to show this here too. This is where I drilled the seacocks. Take this off. You can see it's just a little piece of of uh, five millimeter laminate or whatever, and that's where the that's where the through hole will be. Um, the high speed pickup is actually going to be a strainer scoop. Uh, I'll have one on each side. I'll show you that, show you how I, what that looks like on the top side. I'll maybe put another one in here, but you can see that all came out pretty well. It's just packing tape. And it doesn't stick to it. It worked out real good. You can see it's the garbage drain plug. You see it's off center because it's got that center line that runs through it right here, that center stringer. So I just put a limber hole in there as you saw. So I'll just drill that out. And this has a drill schedule uh, where it's got offset so that it fits nice and tight. And these will be the uh, inch and a half drains. You can see that wood is still in there. But so when I drill this out, it'll be just on the inside of where that wood. I'm sorry, just on the outside of where that wood is, so it'll be a have a whole epoxy layer there. The motor mounts, obviously, the stern eyes, but overall the whole hole looks pretty good. You know, it's kind of hard. You kind of gotta look down it, kind of look down the sides of it and stuff. It looks all right. We'll bring that. Put the fiberglass up. You see. So I just put the. Let me see if I can get up on either to show you. So I just got this wood setting across that cradle, but I put these little braces on each side so that the boat can't slide either way. This one keeps it from going that way, and on the other side keeps it from coming this way. So that's all I've done up underneath there. You can see my some of my scarf joints here. See if we can get some light. You see, they're not they're not perfect. I'll probably come in here, probably even before I glass it, come in here and maybe finish this off a little bit, where that'll be it'll be it'll be flusher. Um, I know that if I put some thick in epoxy in there and then run the planer across it, it it'll get it nicer. I can feel there's a little bit of a dip right here, and then all of these holes. I tried to mark all the little screw holes to make sure that I came back and filled those in. But you can see the chine where it comes up here in the front. I'm gonna swing around and get the lights better. I was worried about this gap in here, but all that's gonna be fine. That'll be just filled in. You almost gotta have a radius there for that for that uh, fiberglass to roll. So the 1808 will come to here and then this 1208 will come and lap over there. So a little bit of a gap there, a little bit of a nick there, but I'll just sand that flat like this side. And you kind of see that chine there, so as well. But it's all gonna work out. The center line on it by and large looks pretty straight. So about it.
Step back and look at it. Went over pretty good as you can see. Yeah, and this shows one of my scarves where I filled that with epoxy. And then I just kind of, it's got a little bit of a dip right here where that screw was in there. But I know once we get in there with the uh, fairing compound, all that'll be fine. That's it. All the way around. It looks pretty good. And this fiberglass here on the stern, I don't know if you can see, but there's a line right here. So it'll come over and I'm going to try and match that up and we'll smooth that out. Obviously, there's a little bit of a, a gap here. You can, you can really feel it. Like old Lou with the tips from a shipwright. I mean, your hands are a lot smaller than your eyes. You can feel it. So, that's what she looks like now. And then we're going to just take her. And uh, I don't know if I've ever shown it like this, but you know, we'll just put it right back in the boat tent kind of clean it up now that I got it out of there but we're gonna keep it on the wheels so that I can move it around maybe now you can see see how the wheels are cradles on wheels so pretty handy